geometric construction revision of basic constructions let us recall the basic constructions that we have studied 1 to construct the perpendicular bisector of a given line segment draw segment AB assuming A as the center and with radius more than half of the distance AB draw arcs on either sides of segment AB now assuming B as the center and with same radius draw arcs intersecting the previous arcs in two distinct points name these two points as P and Q draw line PQ intersecting segment AB in point O line PQ is the perpendicular bisector of segment AB 2 to construct an angle PQR of any measure and bisect it draw segment QR draw angle PQR of any measure assuming Q as the center and with radius less than half of the distance QR draw arcs on segments QP and QR intersecting at points A and B respectively now with the same radius and assuming A and B as the centers draw arcs intersecting at point S now draw ray QS ray QS is the angle bisector of angle PQR 3 to construct a line perpendicular to a given line at any point on the line draw line L of any measure take a point P on line L assuming P as the center draw arcs on either sides of point B intersecting the given line at points A and B respectively assuming A as the center draw arcs on either sides of line L now assuming B as the center draw arcs intersecting the previous arcs at points S and T draw line ST line ST is the perpendicular bisector of line L 4 to construct a line perpendicular to a given line from a point outside the line draw line L take point P anywhere outside line L assuming P as the center draw arcs on line L intersecting at points A and B now assuming A and B as the centers draw arcs on the other side of line L intersecting at point Q draw line PQ line PQ is the perpendicular bisector of line L 5 to construct the angle congruent to a given angle let's construct an angle congruent to angle ABC let's draw a line segment YZ of any convenient length now assuming B as the center draw an arc intersecting BC at point N 
and AB at point M with the same radius and assuming Y as the center draw an arc intersecting ray YZ at point O now with distance M N as the radius and assuming O as the center draw an arc intersecting at point P now draw ray Y X passing through point P angle X Y Z is the angle congruent to angle A B C 6 to construct the line parallel to a given line passing through the given point method 1 draw a perpendicular bisector PQ of line L from point P outside the line as shown previously Draw another perpendicular bisector from point P on the line. Name this as line M. Line M is parallel to line L. Method 2 Draw segment PQ intersecting line L in point Q. Assume Q as the center and with radius less than segment PQ, draw an arc intersecting line L at point A and segment PQ at point B. Assume P as the center and with same radius draw an arc intersecting segment PQ with distance AB as the radius draw an arc intersecting the previous arc at point S draw line N passing through points P and S line N is parallel to line L to divide a line segment in a given ratio example divide segment PQ in the ratio 3 is to 2 steps of construction 1 draw a line segment PQ 2. Draw any ray PX other than segment PQ as shown. 3. With P as the center, draw an arc intersecting line PX at point P1. With the same radius and P1 as the center, draw an arc intersecting line PX at point P2. Repeat this method for points P3, P4 and P5. PP1 equals to P1P2 equals to P2P3 equals to P3 P4 equals to P4 P5. Now join QP5. 4. Through the point P3, draw a line parallel to QP5 which intersects segment PQ at R. Since P1 
P3R is parallel to QP5, intersecting the triangle PQP5 at P3 and R. Therefore, according to basic proportionality theorem, PP3 upon P3P5 equals to PR upon RQ. Putting the values we get PP3 upon P3P5 equals to 3 upon 2. Or PR upon RQ equals to 3 upon 2. This shows that R divides PQ in the ratio 3 is to 2. To divide a line segment in the ratio M and N, we have to divide it in M plus N congruent parts. To construct the circumcircle and encircle of a triangle. Circumcircle of a triangle is a circle passing through all the vertices of a triangle. To construct the circumcircle of a triangle. Example Draw the circumcircle of triangle DEF in which DE equals to 9.5 centimeters, angle D equals to 50 degrees and angle E equals to 75 degrees. Steps of Construction 1. Construct Triangle DEF Two, draw perpendicular bisectors of any two sides. Let O be the point of intersection. Three, draw a circle with center O and radius OD or OE or OF. This is the required circumcircle of triangle DEF. O is the center of the circle. It is circumcenter of the circle. The distance between the center and vertices of the triangle is equal to radius. To construct in circle of a triangle. In circle of a triangle is the circle inside a triangle touching each side of the triangle. Example Draw the in circle of triangle XYZ such that XY equals to 7.6 centimeters. YZ equals to 5.7 centimeters and angle XYZ equals to 65 degrees. Steps of construction 1. Construct triangle XYZ with given measurements. Two, draw the bisectors of angle Y and angle X.
let these bisectors intersect at point I. Draw a perpendicular IM on side XY. Point M is the foot of the perpendicular. 3. Draw a circle with the radius MI and center at I. I is the center of the circle and it is called in center of the circle. Three, construction of a tangent to the circle. A. Construction of a tangent to a circle at a point on the circle. Example. Construct a tangent to a circle of radius 4.5 centimeters at a point on it. Steps of construction. 1. Draw a circle with center O and radius 4.5 cm. 2. Take any point P on the circle and draw ray OP. 3. Draw a line perpendicular to ray OP at the point P. Name that line as L as line L passes through point P on the circle and is perpendicular to the radius of the circle. It is the required tangent to the circle. B. Construction of a tangent to the circle without using center of the circle. Example. Draw a circle of radius 4.2 cm. Take any point K on it. Draw a tangent to the circle at K without using center of the circle. Steps of construction 1. Draw a circle of radius 4.3 2 centimeters. Take any point K on it. Draw the chord KL of any length. 2. Take any point M on the alternate arc of KXL other than K and L. Join MK and LM. So, triangle LMK is formed. 3. Draw ray KN making an angle equal to angle LMK using KL as one side and vertex K. The line containing ray KN is the required tangent. The theorem on alternate segment are being used to construct the tangent to the circle without using the center. C. To draw tangents to a circle from a point outside the circle. Example. Construct tangents to the circle of radius 2.8 cm from a point at a distance 6.5 cm from the center. 
steps of construction 1 construct a circle with center o and radius 2.8 centimeters 2 take point p such that op equals to 6.5 centimeters 2 Obtain midpoint M of segment OP. Draw a circle with center M and radius MP. The points of intersections of these two circles A and B are points of contacts draw line pa and pb which are the required tangents six the construction of similar triangles example triangle pse is similar to triangle TSV. In triangle PSE, PS equals to 6.4 centimeters, SE equals to 7.1 centimeters, PE equals to 7.5 centimeters, and PS upon TS equals to 5 upon 3. Construct triangle TSV. For a given 1 to 1 correspondence between the vertices of two triangles, if their corresponding angles are congruent and corresponding sides are in proportion, then these two triangles are called similar triangles steps of construction 1 construct the triangle PSE with given measurements 2 Construct an acute angle at the vertex S and divide it in five equal parts. Three, join S5 to vertex P and construct a parallel line to S5P at S3. 4. Construct a parallel line to PE at T. 3. We get triangle TSV similar to triangle PSE. Therefore, triangle PSE is similar to triangle TSV.